I thought, actually, why am I finding them deals? Because I know how they think. Why don't I create deals and use their money to finance my deals? And that was the big change. That's why I started to build my own, what I call my own sort of balance sheet, a capital structure. So that game was about the USP, the differentiation in a, a very, very cluttered market. And those, those investments, those businesses, were usually in technology, media, and telecoms. They got bigger. And in time, um, myself and my business partner, Simon, we acquired a mobile phone business. Again, another quite tired, saturated sector. And we decided to differentiate it by providing the email. So in your BlackBerry, your phone. And in that business, we built a sort of a nascent cloud computing hosting company. I'll come on to what that means. But started to build that. And it was when the board meetings where you realized that you're spending two and a half hours talking about the cloud business, exciting future, which basically is about an internet business, and half an hour checking that your 45 million mobile phone company can pay the bills of that one million pound business. And that's the day you realize you probably need to sell that one. So we sold that one, cashed in the chips, and began to focus on cloud. And again, this was at a time where nobody would fund us. We went around the city, we talked to you know, the usual funds, the usual suspects. Nobody really got it. So again, it's about risk. It's about, you know, we actually decided we had a vision, we were passionate about it, we believed in it, we had a plan, which is all great, but we needed money. So the entrepreneurs in us, no one would fund us. Eventually, we put tens, literally tens of millions of pounds of our own money into this business to get it to the point where people would actually listen. Then they began to fund us. We believed in it, and that's something you need to do. You believe in your vision, and sometimes people will tell you that, you know, that's not the way to go, that's not a good idea. But if you believe in it as a plan, it's credible. It's not always the case. Sometimes you'll see in the den, there are chocolate teapots out there. So if you do have a plan, believe in it and go for it. And that's what we did, and we've been quite successful. So we're now a public company. Whatever you do, make sure you do it, because I'll tell you now, if you don't think you can get out of bed for 10 years, not three or five years, 10 years, and do what you want to do in your business, just stop and do something else, because that's how long it takes to build a business. So whatever you decide to do, make sure you enjoy it. You don't need to love it, uh, people say that, but enjoy it. And it's also my entree into realizing that I didn't want to work for anybody else, because what I realized was that my, my input in many ways was directly correlated to the output. But what that meant was a lot of hard work. It meant you know, me traipsing around you know, my town with a very large bag. And that's another thing. It doesn't matter what you do, there will be a huge amount of hard work. Ten years ago, when my mum was saying, what are you doing walking out of your job? And if you said to me that I'd be you know, on the Secret Millionaire program, built businesses worth £60 million during three recessions, I'd be sitting in South Africa with Richard Branson with a about to float a company, talking about should I join Dragon's Den? I'd say you're absolutely off your rocker bonkers. And that just shows you that you, know, you, you just never know where life can take you if you can believe in what you're doing.